Hello! Thank you so much for coming to Introduction to Energization Exercises. You have just given yourself a giant gift by learning these 39 exercises. So let me give you a little bit of a background on where the energization exercises came from. So the energization exercises were created by Paramahansa Yogananda. Paramahansa Yogananda was a, a guru that lived in India. And he developed them in 1916 to help us understand that we can draw from the energy that's with outside of us, bring it internally, and be able to direct it in a way that is helping us create our happiest, healthiest selves. So he moved to the United States in 1920, and he brought those energization exercises with him. And he realized when he came here that he needed to do a little shifting with it. He needed to add some arm movements because in the United States, we tended to not use our arms as much as he thought was needed. So he added a few um, arm movements, which created the whole entire 39 encompassing exercises. So these exercises, why do they give us such an amazing thing? Well, they increase our muscle tone. They help with circulation. They help with relaxation. They also help with learning how to direct our energy, as I was saying, and that can help us to create inner success as well as outer success. And it also can help us create healing. For example, when I was working with these exercises a few years ago, I learned that I could actually help my knee injury heal quicker by utilizing the energization exercises. Um, so I'm gonna go through a few different aspects to what is important with the energization exercises. So there's a saying that goes, where our where our attention goes, energy flows. So what we're doing here is we're going to be calling out different body parts as we move through this. And we want our attention to go to that body part. And we want to try to feel that body part start to tighten in what is a low, medium, and high movement. So it's like a wave almost. So you don't want it to feel like it's going from zero to 100 but instead it's a nice low, medium, high, and then from high, medium to low. And in the beginning here with energization exercises, sometimes you may not be able to feel the muscle or the body part tighten, or it's hard to connect with that body part, and that's very common. And if that does occur for you, don't think that you're not doing it right. Instead, visualize what you f think that muscle would feel like if you were tightening it. And with practice, that will occur. That relationship will develop where you can tighten and have control over that body part. And again, that's training ourselves to realize that we have the power to direct our energy wherever we want it to go so that we can create the life we want. And that's why this is truly a gift you're giving yourself by being here today. So, um, so again, where our attention goes, energy flows. I love that saying, and I think it really applies to our entire life. <clears throat> Another aspect is that we want to tense with will and then relax and feel. So what do I mean by willingness or willpower? So... When we think about willingness, it sometimes feels like it's like a grim thing, like kind of militant, I have to do it. With this type of willingness, I'm talking more of a joyous willingness, a happy willingness. That type of willingness that feels like it's making your heart expand. And to give you a little example, if we bow through the chest and we say to ourselves, I'm happy, it's really, really hard to connect with that feeling. Whereas if we open the chest, we open our willingness to stand erect and lively, we all of a sudden shift our energy. That's the same sort of thing that we want to do with these exercises. We go into each one 
with an excitement, with the like, oh my God, what am I learning here? What is my body telling me? How can I deepen this relationship with the energy exchange that I'm in control of? <clears throat> so the tense with will, relax and feel. The other aspect that's really important, so we have such tense lives. We have no problem feeling that tenseness, but we oftentimes have a hard time feeling the relaxation. So when we go through these exercises, I'll be cueing you to tense, but as you come to relax, as I cue the relaxation aspect, we're going to pause there for a second, and I want you to really connect into what are you feeling in that relaxation. And what that does off the mat is that it helps us start to identify what does it feel like to be relaxed. So when we have stressful moments in our day-to-day -day life, we can start to shift that energy through conscious awareness. I don't want to feel this tension. I know what it feels like to be relaxed. I can do a few exercises, bring that relaxation in and shift everything. Again, a way we can help ourselves take charge of where we want to be through these exercises. So um, I mentioned keep an attitude of openness and willingness. This is an opportunity to develop a loving relationship with yourself. So that's a really important point. Um, let's see, I just want to make sure that I'm hitting all the points that are important here before we try some things out. So as I was saying, we're going to want to concentrate on a body part and try to feel the middle of the body part um, filling with energy. Now that energy is coming through the medulla oblongata, which is at the back of the skull. And at first this might not be so easy to feel, but we can try to, again, visualize that. And as we practice that, eventually actually be able to connect into the energy coming in through the medulla oblongata and coming into the body parts. But I'd like to try a um, little uh, experiment right now. So let's take the left arm and bend it into a 90 degree. And we're just going to try to see what is the feeling of bringing the energy into a body part. So I want you to tense in a wave like low, medium, high, that left forearm. Tense, 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 hold that tension, and then re start to release, high, medium, low. And then let's just take a pause, maybe even close the eyes if that feels good for you, and just to notice what's the difference between the two sides of the body here, in the forearm. Can you actually feel a difference? Do you feel an energy exchange there? So it feels like, what does that feel like for you? Do you feel like an energy in flow? Do you feel like maybe your energy increased or decreased? Increased. Increased? Nice. Good. Okay, so in talking about that energy, it can actually play a little game with us because sometimes we feel like we have come to our max with energy and there's no more that we can give. But in reality, chances are we do have more energy to give. Like for example, say you just had a super long day and you're sitting on the couch and you feel like there's nothing that could happen that's gonna pull you off the couch. But then all of a sudden you get a phone call from your best friend that you haven't seen in 20 some years and this is the only opportunity that you're going to get to see them. What do you think will happen? Do you think your energy is going to increase or decrease? Increase. And so you have a little bit more energy store than maybe you had realized before the friend called, yeah? Do you see that relationship there? So same sort of thing here. We're gonna try this on the right arm now. So we're going to bring our attention to the middle of the forearm, start to tense it in low, medium, high, and I want you to tense it even more, even more. Can you tense it even more? How about a little teeny bit more? Nice. Can you feel that vibration in the middle of the muscle? Mm -hmm. Okay, now let's start to release it high, medium, and low. So this is also an opportunity to start to realize that we sometimes put barriers in front of ourselves that are 
just a figment of our imagination, that we have a lot more energy at our fingertips, at our disposal when we want it, if we use these tools. So these are a great gift that Yogananda gave, Paramahansa Yogananda gave to us back in 1920, and it's truly a uh, gift to the science world as well, because it helps science realize that it's a mind-body connection with our energy. Okay, so um, let's stand on up and remove the chairs off to the side. Help you with that. So we are going to do, so there's a couple different aspects about energization exercises that I'd like to chat about for, before we move into them. Um, first off, you'd like to do it outside if possible. We have a rainy day today, so it's not so possible. But it is good, if that's not the case, that you open a window or a door. So I'm going to do that really quickly. And then another aspect that is involved with the energization exercises is the use of what's called the double breath. And double breath is a double inhale through the nose. It's a short and long inhale. It goes like this. And then a double exhale that's through the mouth and the nose, short and long again. And those are used on some of the exercises. I'll again cue you on when those can, when are, those can be used or when it's an option if you'd like to stay with a long breath or use that double breath. That double breath is really great just to up our energy alone. So let's try that for three rounds together, see how that feels, okay? So let's double inhale through the nose. Double exhale through the nose and mouth. Twice more. Do you feel any shift from that at all? Yeah, it's kind of interesting how that can just buzz the brain a little bit mm -hmm. right off the bat. So, the, with the beginning of um, energization exercises, you want to connect into your highest power, whomever that may be for you, whether however you call that out. So, I will offer a little prayer um, as we begin today, and I invite you to say it after me or to follow along silently, your choice. So please bring your hands to your chest in Anjali Mudra, closing the eyes or softening the eyes, your choice. And we will begin now with our 39 exercises. O oh, infinite spirit, recharge my body with thy cosmic energy, my mind with thy concentration, my spirit with thy ever new joy. O oh, infinite, oh, oops, I'm sorry. <laughs> O oh, infinite spirit of body and mind, please abide within me forever and forever. And then we'll let the hands come down and pause for a moment to feel our nice, long, healthy posture. Feet are pointing directly in front of you. And then we will begin with our first exercise, double breath, palms touching. So let's bring the toes together. We're going to bend the knees, bring the arms long, elbows straight, and the palms are touching. And with a double inhale, we're going to open the arms, tense the body. As we come to that fruition, you're vibrating throughout the whole entire body. As you exhale, you close the arm. Let's do that four more times. Feeling your entire body from toes to the top of the head vibrating with loving willingness. Tense with will. Relax and feel. Let's do one more. And pause. 
let's just take a moment to take a note. Where is your energy level now? And we're going to do that again at the end to see what shifted for you through these series and moves. Okay, so the next one, we're going to bring all of our weight onto the right leg. I'm going to mirror you. And then you're, this is calf recharging. We bend at the knee. On the way up, we tense that calf muscle, pause, relax, exhale, come down, pause, relax. If you're having problems with the balance, you hold on to the opposite elbow. So let's do that two more times. Tense, tense, tense on the way up, pause, relax. Tense, tense, tense on the way down, pause, relax. One more time, tense and coming down and then we'll bend that knee one more time and we're going to come into the ankle now ankle rotations rotating the foot in three circles one way three circles opposite and feel some tension in that ankle so it's not slopping around there but you're feeling energy and then when you're done with that we're going to come on to the other leg now so we tense with will Relax and feel, tense with will, relax and feel, twice more. And as you get to know these exercises, I invite you to close the eyes. And that really helps us to develop a deeper relationship with what we're feeling inside. Now let's go into the ankle rotation. So rotating the foot in three circles each direction with a little tension in the ankle. All right, so now we're going to bring all of our weight onto the right foot. We're going to step that left foot forward. I'm mirroring you. And we're going to bring our attention to the forearm and the calf. And we're tensing the forearm and the calf of that right of that left side in a wave, low, medium, high, high, medium, low. And now the upper body. Um, bicep and quadricep and release so feeling that relaxation as you come back to the calf and the forearm relax bicep quad one more time This is a nice place to close the eyes if it feels good for you. And then let's come on to the other side. So we're stepping the left foot back and we bring all the energy into the forearm and the calf. Tense with will. Relax and feel. Bicep and quad. And release. Forearm. Half and release, bicep quad and release. One more time, each one. And then stepping the feet together, we're going to do those same moves, but the body parts together on both sides. So starting with forearms and calves and relax biceps quads and relax forearms calves feeling that loving willingness maybe even bringing a smile to the face bicep quads forearms calves last time bicep quads Excellent. Now we're going to bring our attention to the, the buttock and the chest. So we're tensing the right side and then the left side. And it, if you're having a hard time feeling that buttock, sometimes micro movement of pulling that heel backwards can help to activate that area. Okay, so left side, tense chest and buttock relax and feel right side relax and feel left 
Arriba. Right. And left. And right. Excellent job. Nice concentration. Okay, so now we're going to take it into the back. We're going to start with the lower back. So we're tightening the lower back of the body. We're going to start with the left side, then the right. And again, bringing that heel back can help to activate that area. So we start with the left side, right. That's a good place to also close the eyes if that helps. Left side, right. Left side and right. Feeling the relaxation of the body part after you tense it. Okay, coming into the middle of the back now through this area. And a way to help with activating that part of the body is to pull the arm back slightly. So we'll start with the left side. I'm marrying you. And relax. Right side. Left side, right side. And this is also a good one to help release tension in the middle of the back, some, an area that tends to cause pain for some people. Let's go one more time each side. So these exercises are done three to five times each exercise. Okay, let's come into the neck area now. So pulling down the shoulder helps to activate this area, starting on the left side and right side. Left side and right side. Left and right. Getting into the shoulders now, we'll place the hands on the shoulders. Elbows come out, but it's a movement of the shoulders, not the elbows. I mean, <laughs> so yeah, a movement of the shoulders, not the elbows that's creating this opening. And we want to always start going forward with our circles about five times, and then reverse the circle about five times. And we want to finish off with reversing because that helps to keep the lungs expanded. Do one more. Ah, nice. Okay, so now we're coming into neck recharging. We're going to tighten the front of the throat. And this is a really good exercise for um, when you're feeling a sore throat come on. So we're going to tighten the front of the throat. Relax and feel. Tense the throat. Relax and feel. One more. Now we're going to come into the sides of the neck. So we're going to start on the left side. I'll mirror again. And we're going to help really isolate this area, pressing the fingers into the temple to help, can help to feel where the muscles are. So left side, relax, right side, relax, left, right, left. And right. Okay, now we're going to come into the back of the neck. So we're going to bring the chin towards the chest. We're using the double breath on this one. So as we double inhale, we tighten the back of the neck. Double exhale, we relax as we come down. And let's do that three more times. Last one, and relax. Now we're coming into neck rotations. So I want you to pretend that you have a pencil on the top of your head, and you're right, drawing little circles on top of the ceiling with this pencil. So this isn't a big rotation of the head, and I want you to avoid any sounds of cracking. If you do hear that, I want you to lessen the radius of that circle. And I want you to have some tension here in the cervical spine. 
So it's not necessarily easy to make the circle. And another way to protect the neck is to raise the shoulders. So if you're feeling your neck is vulnerable, raising the shoulders for this exercise is good. Let's rotate the neck in the opposite direction. It's really good for when you're feeling any neck pain. And now we're going to take that back into circles. You've released the tension now in the cervical spine. The circles maybe grew a little bigger. And this is just a nice relaxation for the cervical spine. And then reversing. Beautiful. So now we're going to take it into spinal recharging. And this one reminds me of 20s dance moves, <laughs> doing the jig. <laughs> so what we want to do here, our hands are in fists, the elbows are at 90 degrees, and we want our shoulder to get to the middle of our body, but the hips are rotating in the opposite direction. So it looks like this on a slower movement, but we want to move it a little bit quicker. Yeah. And the more that you're bringing that shoulder in front, the more you're helping the body to flush the toxins. And we want to keep the feet flat, yeah. And the head stays looking forward. But keeping those hips rotating at the same time. Two more. That's great, excellent. Okay, so now we're taking it into spinal stretching. We're going to step the feet hip width apart and lengthen through the spine so we feel our chest expanded so our lungs can really receive that long breath. Bend the knees, and then we're gonna circle the upper body in circles, keeping the hips still. But as you come back, make sure you keep that nice arch in the spine to keep the lungs open. And then let that circle reverse itself. And then we're going to come into spinal stretching now. That was spinal rotation. So this one is like we're reaching over a hurdle. And at first to the left side, I'm mirroring you again. We reach our shoulders over. And then we come to the right side. So we're getting into the side waist now. Place that a lot of lymph nodes live. So this is a really nice flushing of the lymph nodes. Good for the immune system. One more time each side. Great. Now we're going to come into spinal adjustment. So we're going to take the two knuckles or the knuckles of the hand, whichever feels more comfortable for you. We'll start at the base of the spine. And we're going to bend the knees, press into the first, that lowest lumbar, and then press in as you straighten the legs and open the hips. Then you come back down, move up one vertebra, and do it again. Keep on going, one vertebra at a time. This is a really nice one to be your own chiropractor. <laughs> Only going up as far as feels good for you. And then we'll come into upper spinal rotation. So we bring our hands and fists and the arms are straight in front of you. And as you come back here, I want you to be mindful of keeping tension around the shoulders to keep the shoulders protected. So as you come back, I'm going to marry you again here. We rotate to the left. That right hand comes to the heart. As you come forward, you, the hands meet again. Great job. Nice. And we'll do five times each side. Keeping tension in that joint, not just flopping back. It's also a good one to release tension in the thoracic region. Okay. Now we're going to take those closed fists and we're going to knock, knock, knock on our skull. This is called skull tapping. 
So you want to get all throughout the skull area, the forehead, the temples, back into the medulla oblongata, again, helping that energy to come into the body. This is, that medulla oblongata is connected to our third eye and it has, helps us in creating the life we want to live. So this move, as well as the next one, were actually discovered to assist our memory. So doing these for two minutes a day truly helps the memory to strengthen. The trick is remembering to do it. <laughs> All right, now I'll take it into the second part. So straight fingers are removing the scalp. Moving the skin on the scalp back and forth. And make sure again, you get into those temples, get into the jaw, and the back of the head. Scalp massage. It just feels good too. And then we're gonna do another little massage, medulla massage. So we take three fingers, we're going to bring it into the back of the head where that medulla oblongata lives at the base of the skull and the mat meeting of the cervical spine. We're going to rotate the fingers three times, pressing into that area, that indentation, and then three times in the opposite direction. Keep that pressure. You're going to double inhale, bringing the head back. Double exhale, come down, relax, and do that twice more. Three times one way, three times the other. Double inhale back. Double exhale forward. Last time. Double inhale. Double exhale. Let's take our hands above, interlace the fingers, bend the elbows, and we're coming into bicep recharging so interlacing the fingers right now we're going to start on the left side again so we always want to start on the left side with all of the energization exercises so squeeze that bicep feel it vibrate can you tense it just a little bit more exhale let it go coming on to the right side so an interesting thing about the energization exercises is that they're almost as beneficial as going to the gym. We're going to alternate between sides two more times. Studies showed that doing isometric exercises like we're doing here can be 60% as, as beneficial as going to the gym. So and during times of like now with the coronavirus, this is actually a really beneficial thing to do for ourselves. Okay, let's let our hands come down, relax. Inhale for a second. Now we're going to tense the whole entire body in a double breath. Double inhale, hold, hold, hold. Double exhale, relax. And now we're going to do a 20 body part recharge. I'm going to name off 20 of body parts. I want you to tense it as I mention it and then relax it. Starting with the left foot, tense. Relax. Right foot. Relax. Left calf, relax. Right calf, relax. Left quad, relax. Right quad, relax. Left buttock, relax. Right buttock, relax. Lower belly, relax. Upper belly, relax. Left forearm, relax. Right forearm, relax. Left bicep, relax. Right bicep, relax. Left chest, relax. Right chest, relax. Front of the neck, back of the neck. Oops, sorry, left side of the neck. Right side of the neck, front of the neck, and back of the neck. All right, so we're gonna do that same thing again. But this time, I want you to tense the body part, hold that tension, and add the next body part as we go up in succession all the way up to the top of the body, and then we'll come back down. As you get to know this, you'll want to do this in a one breath, one inhale coming up, exhale coming down. But for right now, take as many long breaths as you need to. 
Okay, so we'll start left foot, right foot, left calf, right calf, left thigh, right thigh, left buttock, right buttock, lower belly, upper belly, left forearm, right forearm, left upper arm, right upper arm, left chest, right chest, left side of the neck, right side of the neck, front of the neck, back of the neck, whole entire body vibrating with joyous energy, feel it. And releasing the head down, we start with the right chest, left chest, right bicep, left bicep, right forearm, left forearm, upper belly, lower belly, right hip, left hip, right quad, left quad, right calf, left quad, right foot, left foot. Double inhale, inhale, intense the whole entire body. Double exhale, release. And now we're going to do weight lifting to the front. We have our hands in fists. They're facing each other. We start with the arms straight. Double inhale if you like. This is an optional double inhale, double exhale if you like. You can stay with the long breath. Tense as you come up. Relax. Tense as you come down. Four more times. Excellent job. I can see your vibration from here. That's great. Twice more. Now we're coming into double breath. Elbows bent. So it's a lot like that first exercise we did. Feet are together. We're going to open with the double inhale, legs lengthen, you stand straight up. We are tensing as we come to that top, and as we come back down, we relax. Let's do that four more times. Last one. Excellent. Let's bring our arms out, side pulling, um, arm pulling from the side. We're going to pull the arms in as if we're pulling the heavy weight. Exhale, we release. And this is an optional double breath again here. Let's do one more. Excellent. Now we're coming into arm rotations. We start with the circle forward. We start in the relaxation with then go to low, medium, high. So our tension is getting harder and harder to make that rotation. And then we'll come back to relaxation. Now going the opposite direction, low, medium, high. It's so hard to turn. And now high, medium, low. Excellent. Now we're going to do um, weight pulling from the front. So the elbows are in a, a 90 degree. Your elbows are in line with the shoulders. The fingers are in fists at the forehead. We're going to double exhale as we lengthen the arms out. It's super hard to push those arms out. Double inhale, come back. This is actually optional double breath, your choice. Let's do two more. And then we kind of come into hand recharging. So we're exploding those hands open. And this is a really great way to avoid arthritis in the hands. So let those fingers explode straight, like they're full of that willingness and that energy. And then take your hands out to the sides. Keep moving those hands in explosive movement. So you're clenching and then opening. Yeah. Into the front now. Excellent. And now to the front. You're so excited to be here. <laughs> and then let your hands come down. We're coming into now four-part arm recharge. 
the hands come into fists and they give themselves a fist bump here at the chest. <laughs> and then, so this is a, we're tightening the entire body as we come open with the arms. That's the inhale. With the exhale, we keep that tension as we open the arms to the front. We're double inhaling as we come onto the toes, as we lift the arms up. We relax as we come down with that double exhale. So let's do that five times together. So tension through these first three, relaxing on that four. one more for good measure. Great job. That's one of my favorites. Okay, now we're doing single arm pull to uh, up to the front. And then you're going to pretend here that you're lifting the heaviest barbell that you've ever lifted. So we can start on the left side. I'll marry you once again. We lift that barbell up. Exhale, double exhale, coming down. Right side. This is optional. Once again, long breath or double breath. Your choice. Last one. Now we'll do that side stretching. Same movement, uh, legs are hip width apart. We'll start on that left side. We lift that heavy weight, double inhale, if you like, or stay with the long breath. So it's super difficult to pull that arm up. It's not easy. So the more tension you're creating, the more you're helping the lymph nodes in the side of the body to cleanse themselves, helping to positively affect the immune system. One more time. And pause. Great job. Now we're going to come into marching. So we're going to march in place. Bring those knees up and nice and high. You're super stoked to be here. Your arms are moving back and forth with livelihood. You can really feel yourself really charged up to be here in this moment. All this energy that you're bringing into your body so you can efficiently move it to where you want it to go. And this helps those hips feel lubricated so we can avoid any need for hip surgeries and the, as the elderly years come on. So we do this for about 50 steps. We want to be mindful that we're keeping those toes nice and line pointing forward. Great job. Let's do about 10 more steps here, keeping that joyful willingness. <laughs> and then we're going to take it into a run if that's safe for your knees, bringing the arms into the chest. Knees high. Feet high, so it's if you're kicking your bum and get yourself going. Knees high, feet high. And that's helping us to really connect into that energy that lies at the base of our spine. We'll do this for about 50 steps total. Stay with that long, deep breath. Keep that breath going. That 20 steps or so go. Keep those knees high, feet high, you are can do it. <laughs> Good job. And kind of stop. Okay, now we're going to take it into fencing. This is a really good one for the left and right hemispheres of the brain. So we are bringing our hands into fists up at the chest. We're going to step forward with the left leg again. I'm marrying you. And we reach across with the right arm your hand at a 45 degree. That's the exhale. As we inhale, we come back. 
and then we do it to the other side. Great. Let's do it five times now. So it's really hard to cross that arm across the body. So it's, what is going on here is the opposite leg of arm. Right now you're the same arm as leg. So can you make it opposite? Good job. Do one more each side. And pause. Excellent job. I love that one. Okay, so we are doing arm rotations now. So arm rotations, again, are one of my favorite because it makes me feel like I'm a kid. <laughs> so we start with that arm circles coming back and forward. Again, always starting with the rotations coming this direction first. And then five times the opposite direction. Feeling a loving tension in the shoulders. Great. Okay, so now we're coming into stomach recharging. And now stomach recharging, it's important to do with having an empty stomach. So if you've eaten, I want you more to visualize this than actually go into the deepest depths of the pose that you can do. And what we're doing here is we're going to inhale and then ex expel all the air out. And for the first round, we're just going to pull that belly up and in as much as possible. And this is a really great way to help flush the toxins in the intestines and in the stomach area and help. We have over, our, I think 80% of our lymph nodes lie within the stomach area of the body. So this is again, another great way to help support our immune system. So we bring the feet hip width apart and we're going to bring the hands onto the knees as we expel the air, and then we pull that belly up and in. Okay, so we take a big inhale, exhale it all out, <sighs> pull that belly up and in, hold for as long as it feels good for you. And when you're ready, bring it on back up. And then the second round, we're going to pump the belly, pumping it in and out as much as possible. So let's take a big inhale and pump, holding the breath out. And when it's ready for you to come back into your inhale, come back up. And the third aspect to stomach recharging, we're going to expel that exhale, and then we're going to try to rotate the belly left and then right. If you're not feeling that, come back to the stomach pumping or just that pulling up and in. So here we go. Inhale, let it all out, and begin your choice. And coming back up. Beautiful one for helping our bodies to really release toxins and inflammation. Okay, so now we get to start it all over again. Nah, I'm just kidding. But we do do the first two exercises. So we, again, come back to that double breath. Palms touching, feet are together. And take notice here. Do you feel better? Do you feel different than when you did it before? Double inhale, open the arms, tense the whole entire body. Feel that vibrancy. Exhale, come back. One more. Great, now it's coming to calf recharging, bringing all the way down to the right leg. If you'd like to use that, um, arm to help balance go for it so i'm going to be mirroring you you tense that calf as you come up 
and relax. Tense as you come down and relax. Twice more. Really feel into that relaxation between the movements. And then into ankle rotations. Again, noting is there a difference from when you began. And coming on to the other side. Tense with joyous will. Relax and feel. And then again, re-lowering it. Tense with will. Relax and feel. Twice more. And this was the one that actually helped me a lot with my knee injury. After three rounds, come into that ankle rotation. Keeping a nice tension in the ankle joint. And now we're going to give some love to the hip joint. Bring all the weight onto the right leg. I'm marrying you again. And circle that leg in big circles. But I want you to be mindful here of keeping the foot as close to the floor as you possibly can. And again, if you're having a hard time with balance, grabbing for that opposite elbow helps. And make sure you do both directions about five times. And then coming on to the other side. And then coming into the last of the 39 activities for energization exercises, I think one of the most sweet of them all is doing double breath with no tension. And this is a feeling into the subtle energies that lies within the breath. So as you double exhale, the arms float out with the breath. As you double inhale, you softly bring your arms back to you. And this is at your own pace, your own rate. And do this for about five rounds. Closed or soft. And then taking a moment to feel internally. Are there any shifts that occurred in doing this? 39 exercises. Do you feel different than when you began? Mm -hmm. Nice. Good. I'm glad to hear that. So, obviously, we took longer than could be the case normally. And as you get to know these, it can take as little as 12 minutes. And there's a one story where a bodybuilder became an actor and used these energization exercises to stay strong. So this can help with anything you want in life, to, whether to be really strong with your muscle tone, to use it for your concentration, to strengthen your relationship with relaxation, to help with feeling in your body, or to obtain that inner or outer success that you deserve in life. So thank you again for coming here and learning about energization exercises. I wish the, you the happiest, healthiest life possible. Thank you. Thank you.